farmer's market you ever been to? I've been to some of the other farmer's markets in Vancouver, and don't get me wrong, they're awesome. You can get some organic produce, some cheese, but there's one BC produce that's missing from those farmer's markets. But it's here, isn't it? Let's give it up for the dealers who showed up today. Thank you, dealers. I'd also like to say a big thank you to the VPD for being the coolest police in the world. If only the dealers and the police could get along like this every day, everywhere. There would be no more riots from Stanley Cup because it'd be Cannabis Indica and Cannabis Sativa doing the sponsorship, right? Yeah. Chill everybody the fuck out. Yeah. It's the alcoholics that are the zeros and it's the potheads who are the heroes. So let's give it up for us. Second biggest city in Canada Smoking marijuana, look how peaceful we are Get 10,000 people together Get the marijuana And they'll make fucking magic Oh, I like smoking pot Cause it makes me feel good from those seed sales, and he was very successful. When Mark started in 1994, there weren't even any head shops or hemp shops where you could buy bongs or books or magazines about pot. That was all gone. And Mark and other brave individuals across Canada fought to defend our culture, to expand our culture. 
Mark brought books and magazines into Canada when they were illegal. High Times was illegal. And Mark fought that law and said, we need information. And he started Cannabis Culture Magazine. Cannabis Culture is one of the sponsors of this event. Cannabis Culture headquarters with our flags on it over there. The dispensary is also a sponsor and the Vancouver Seed Bank is also a sponsor. So support us in return because Mark and other activists who worked so hard in the 1990s brought you what's here today. There was no open weed market back in 1994, 95, not even up until recent years. And Mark Emery helped lay the groundwork for that and a lot of people thank him every day for inspiring them. And he continues to inspire people who inspire more people, who inspire more people so that in America, they're going to discuss legalizing it in their house of Congress. The United States might legalize before Canada. Well, I guess if Mark Emery is down there in their prisons, that's the way it should be. He'll take the seeds of freedom, plant them, overgrow the government from within the United States of America, overgrow the government of Canada, which is extremely important with Stephen Harper in power. Because right now, Canada is under the control of an evil man named Stephen Harper who loves war, who loves prisons, who loves hurting people who don't hurt anyone else like you. Harper wants all of you in prison just like my husband was sent to prison with the Canadian government's agreement and cooperation. And that's what Harper wants is more cooperation with the United States. But that is not the direction Canada should go. Today is Canada Day, but it's Cannabis Day because it's the day we celebrate our country, the peaceful, tolerant, diverse, beautiful country that we are, or that we were, until Harper took over. And we'll have to fight to defend this country. We'll have to fight to defend our culture because the cannabis community is at war or is at the victim of the US government and the Canadian government and their war on drugs and Canada will change unless you get involved. This website right here, whyprohibition.ca, pull out your phones, go, sign up, get involved with activism because the Harper government is getting rid of medical marijuana. He wants to shut down the dispensaries and compassion clubs that save people's lives and he's building prisons for all of us because we love this plant. Tell Harper no. We are peaceful people, tolerant people, loving, compassionate Canadian people, and this is our flag which represents all those values. Peace, tolerance, diversity, tall and progress. And that's what we're fighting for. And that's why today is cannabis day. And we're sending Mark, my husband, the Prince of Pot, Mark Emery all of our love today as he's not here with us. I miss him, I love him, and I'm going to wait for him to come home, and together we're gonna to end this drug war everywhere so nobody has to go to prison for cannabis ever again. Happy Cannabis Day, everybody. Free Mark Emery. Thanks a lot, have fun, be safe. Yeah, Jody Emery, the wise words.
That's right, the more pads you make, the more quickly we can get the joints in your hands. The men start handing it out. And only to the people sitting down. One for you. Thank you all for being here today to celebrate Cannabis Day with uh, all your friends and neighbors and tourists. Lots of tourists just happened upon this place today and found it to be one of the most magical places on earth, I suspect, which it is. And we really have David Malmo Levine and his crew to thank for this, not only partially today, but in days past, it wasn't always like this. We had to get here early and there had to be enough of us here that could take over a little portion of the space without getting shooed off or arrested. And then we'd set up a quick sound system and then it would grow from there and now it's grown into this. I sure hope all the dealers today can find a way to kick down. Everybody's going to do good. You want to kick back for good karma and the forward motion of our movement. Now we've also got to thank our good friend Mark Emery, who sponsored many of the events in the early days, who pioneered cannabis culture in, in Vancouver and Canada and most of the world. Now he languishes in a prison in Mississippi for selling pot seeds. And look what's going on today. We're selling, I don't think anybody's selling pot seeds. They're selling pot and hash and cookies and there's some seedlings over there. But I gotta tell you, we got Mark to thank for that. Go to freemark.ca, it's as easy as that. You'll see a lot of people walking around in the crowd wearing those t-shirts. freemark.ca, there's a poster right here. You can go over to Cannabis Culture, get a t-shirt, but go to that website. There's an address to write to Mark in prison. Thank him for this today. And give him a little bit of something to do in prison while reading your letter. Another big thanks goes out to Adam Bowen for putting the whole music show together here today. It's been fabulous. A lot of the musicians that you've seen today come to us through down at BCMP, down at the Cannabis Culture Headquarters at 307 West Hastings. We have a vapor lounge on the third floor. It's open every day. Come on down. You can uh, smoke the cleanest way possible and enjoy a really cool vibe in the cannabis culture. And on Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock, we have an open jam night that Adam had put together and it runs beautifully, it's fantastic music and most of these musicians today have come through that to bring a good cannabis vibe to us today so sure want to thank Adam for that. We also got to thank Jacob Hunter, he is the man behind putting the rest of this together. Now, I haven't seen a police officer all day. All day there hasn't been one cop here. Now, if that isn't some sort of acceptance and real acceptance here in society, I don't know what is. The bigger celebration for Canada Day is going on down here at the shore where people are drinking. So unfortunately, that's where all the police have to be. So thanks a lot for being here. It's been a fabulous day. It's going to continue here until about 8 o'clock, I think, tonight. But... Uh, Glad you're here. Thanks for smoking all the weed with us and uh, get online, get out there, get active, and let's get higher. Peace and pot. Happy Cannabis Day. All the best from Opus Farms.